Hey guys, Cha Chan here, and today's video is a continuation of the art from last week, in which I did the line art and the sketch, and I talked about hunting and ethical sourcing of animals for taxidermy, so if you're interested in that, please check out that video. But in this video I'm talking about character design, so let's get on with it. <laughs> okay, so I used to struggle with character design a lot when I was just starting out, obviously. When you're just starting, you don't have any experience, and it's okay not to be amazing at things when you just start. So uh, I guess I should say the two extremes I see of character design in beginners is it's way too simple, there's nothing going on for the character, or on the other end of things it's too detailed, there's too much going on, like five bajillion colours and all that. <laughs> And there's nothing wrong if you like your characters designed like that. I mean, in, at the end of the day, if you're having fun, that's fine. And no one can tell you any different. But in this video I'm talking about if we're going into a professional industry, you're going to draw a comic or an animation, or you're trying to sell these characters to people, then you might want to take this advice. <laughs> Maybe. I'm still like a student in college. I don't have a job, so uh, yeah. This is just kind of my opinions, what I've learned over the years. I've been designing characters since, well, since I was born, really, but seriously, since 2012. Anyway, so the two extremes are too simple or too complex, and I was guilty of the too simple. All of my characters a few years ago were just a guy in a shirt with some trousers and some trainers. Uh, the only defining feature between them all was the hair. I had I had severe same face syndrome going on with my characters, not gonna lie. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, so, if you struggle with this kind of, your characters look too simple, here is some things you can do to kind of get out of that. So look at your character and think, what can I add, what can I change? Uh, so look at the shirt and go, maybe I could add a logo. Well, not like a copyrighted logo, obviously, but maybe I could add a picture, logo, that kind of thing, a text quote thing, um, or look at trousers and go, maybe they could be ripped jeans, maybe they could be uh, patterned or something, uh, or shorts, change the entire thing from trousers to shorts or a skirt. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, trainers or shoes or whatever. Um, go on Google Images and look through like cool shoes and go, my character would suit those boots and draw your character in those boots. Dunno. <laughs> um, also don't be afraid to add like jackets or hats. I don't draw many hats, to be honest. I'm not very good at it. <laughs> anyway, so just mess around with the clothing and don't be afraid to do a few variations of the character. Uh, in like professional industries, they will go through like who knows how many different variations of a character design before they get to the one they want to like use. So don't be afraid to do like 50 million different like designs before you settle on one, because that's a good thing. It means you've thoroughly thought about it. I mean, even if you get it on the first try, that's fine as well. I have characters that I drew the first time, and I was like. That is exactly what I wanted. <laughs> um, but yeah. Okay. Is there anything else? Oh, hairstyles. I should mention that. Uh, sometimes you might suffer from the same hairstyle syndrome. I don't think that's really a thing. But I, I kind of had that, to be honest. <laughs> so. Um, well, I, I, did I have it? I sort of had it, but didn't because I had some really crazy hairstyles on my characters back then. <laughs> I'll leave some links in the description to my old art and characters, which I still draw, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I haven't changed these characters because I like them and, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> anyway, I'll leave some links in the description to my old character designs and old art so you can see just where I've come from. And uh, what was I saying? Hairstyles, yes. Don't be afraid to like change the length of the hair or um, if it's straight hair, curly hair fringe, that kind of thing. Just mess about with it. Okay, I think that's my advice for 
like if your character looks too simple. Oh, and also face shape. Uh, mess around with the face shape and the body type, uh, skin colour, race, that kind of thing, and you know, eye shape, nose shape, all of that. Mess around with it. Make a huge like page of sketches if you really want to of like different character designs. Anyway, I'm rambling now. <laughs> okay. I should talk about the other end of things, which is the overly complicated character design, which I didn't actually do, because I never really drew much detail. Um, I still don't, I like to keep my things simple when I can. Anyway, so, your character design looks way too complex. You might have 5 million colours, so what you, what you should do is think, how can I cut these colours down to have maybe 3 to 5 colours? Um, obviously that's not like a hard and fast rule, like you can have more than five colours if you want, but if you're going to be drawing a comic or doing an animation, less colours is better. Like, you'll make life so much easier for yourself if you have less colours. You'll notice these two characters, I designed them for the purpose of drawing a comic or an animation, and I thought, let's keep the, the colours simple, let's not have too many. <laughs> so yeah, just think which character which colors suit this character and take those colors out and use those uh, I think that's about all I can say on that uh, okay and then you might have too much detail in like line work and various shapes going on so think how you can simplify that to main shapes block out what the silhouette of the character looks like and uh, think Shape theory, that's what I was going to say. Shape theory. So the basic kind of shape theory is a circle, a triangle, and a square. And these three shapes represent different things. Uh, a circle is like a bubbly, a bubbly emotion, happy, that kind of thing. A triangle is excitable, I think. Yeah, like excitable, enthusiastic, uh, but it could also be mean and like a bully, I guess. And then a big a square is like a, a square is like the big strong character, um, reliable. What else? That's all I can think of. But that's the basics of shape theory. There's more to it, but that's the basics. And you can break these rules, but you know those are the the basics. <laughs> um, so keep that in mind and think: Does my character have too many different shapes going on? How can I, like? bring it into one main shape that I might use a few times. You know, like, you don't just have to have, like, a, a triangle and that's your entire character. It could be, but, you know, Bill Cipher, he's a triangle because, well, he has various meanings for being a triangle, but, yeah, anyway, <laughs> bad example. Not a bad example, but an example. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, I hope you get what I'm saying here with the shape theory thing. You'll notice these characters are very shape-based as well. The heads mainly. The head is where I put most of the shape theory in most of my characters, I guess. I don't know. Um, okay, what else can I say? That's all I really have, I think. Yeah. <laughs> so if you have any, um, any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I will happily answer them if I can. Um, yeah, I was going to talk about out there. Yeah, I can't talk. I was going to talk about art style a little bit. Um, so I know a lot of people worry that they don't have an art style, and that's all right. The art style will eventually come. I didn't have an art style for like hand drawing, and eventually it just kind of happened. I was like, this is my style. I don't know where it came from. So all you gotta do is just draw, and it will happen. All right. I think I'll save art style for a different video because that is a whole topic in itself. Um, so keep an eye out for that video. And uh, yeah, there's not much to say about this art. It took me like five, six hours, I think. <laughs> oh, it took forever. I hope you like this art. It is. It has been a nightmare, but I enjoyed it. Um, it's not exactly brilliant, but whatever. Anyway. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you find this. Ha hope you found this advice helpful. Feel free to leave any questions. Uh, links to my social media and shops in the description. 
and hope to see you in the next one. Bye!